My blog is called Cancer Girl Smiles because I wanted to show that I've been living with cancer nearly my entire life. I call it like my career in cancer. But there's times when things are really bad and bitter and there's the low points and I want to make it as realistic as possible. But I also like to dazzle it with humor. Sabrina Foco Dunn has been treated here at Princess Margaret Cancer Center. She's 35 years old and has already had six rounds of cancer. She has what doctors call Lee for Many syndrome. These individuals are born with a genetic mutation in a very critical gene known as TP53. And then that puts their whole body at high risk of developing cancers. It's estimated that 1 in 20,000 Canadians have Lefromeni, but doctors say it's possible this number can be higher. At this point, we don't screen everybody for Lefromeni syndrome. Usually when they come to the oncologist and have a certain type of history of a young sarcoma or a, a large family with uh, breast cancers and um, uh, brain cancers, that would be indicative of somebody who would need to be tested. Not everybody with cancer is assessed, but uh, they should think about it if they have any of those characteristics I described. Sabrina's first run-in with cancer started at three years old, and she's been dealing with it since. It all started at the age of three. I was diagnosed with rhabdomyosarcoma, which is a rare cancer of the muscle. I developed thyroid cancer at 18, and then at 22, a malignant peripheral nerve sheath tumor in my left thigh. And then further, I developed cancer in my kidney, precancerous fibroids in my uterus, osteosarcoma, and now it's spread both to my lungs and brain. This journey has prompted her to write about it creating this blog titled Cancer Girl Smiles with the subtitle, Today I Decide to Live. A positive message from someone who has had cancer this many times. You can make an experience fun. Losing your hair is a daunting experience for most women that have cancer. And I wasn't too crazy, obviously, about losing my hair. But I figured, you know, let me try to make it a little fun, the experience. I think the, like the bob cut looked the best. I like to show on my blog that I'm just an ordinary person. Yes, I've had cancer six times now, but at the end of the day, like I face the same challenges. And it's opened quite a few doors, a spread in El Canada, speaking engagements, and she's currently writing a book. It's okay to have, you know, a really crappy day. It's okay to be bitter and angry. I just want them to know those are all normal emotions, but not to get stuck in that moment to try to move forward with your life as best you can. I refuse to let cancer win. <laughs> Sabrina says she will continue to document her journey. If you would like to follow her blog, there's a link on our website, citynews.ca. At the Princess Margaret Cancer Center, I'm Stella Cuisto, City News.